the 2022 Duck Hook season continues, coming up in February. Sunday Series 1 at Modderfontein on the 6th of February. Then, the Thursday Series at Glen Vista on the 17th of February. Followed by Sunday Series 2 at Heron Banks in the Free State on the 20th of February. With a special event, the 2022 Team Shootout at the Eye of Africa on the 13th of February. Four teams and one winner. Who will take the bragging rights? Duck Hoop Golfers, covering your social golf tournaments. It's been fun and games in the preparation to today's Duck Hoop Golf Show. Welcome, it's another Wednesday and it's another jam-packed show everybody well we've got a body to review we've got a shootout to uh put into context context we've got all the captains with us and we're going to do the pairings and the selections of the teams and then we're going to look at modifontaine because yes that is coming up again four sundays in a row everybody that's a lot of lot of golf a lot of competition a lot of chances to see your friends and a lot of chances to win something um but yes, as I mentioned, it's been interesting in the build-up because we've already lost somebody as far as I'm concerned. So let us put everybody in. Okay, no, he's just on the move. So we've got Fricky Thursday. Let's do this. Thursday series captain. Then we've got Hanu standing in for Randall as series one captain. You might think he's the vice captain. You'd be right. Then we've got Ronnie, series two captain. And we've got Billy on the move. Billy on the move. Um, his, his connection is not great. So he decided he's moving. But he's moving. Hello, Billy. How is it? We're going to try and see if this is better. Okay, we'll try and see and see how it goes. Hopefully yeah. you stay with us. Hello, everybody on the chat line. Thanks for joining us. We've had a quick, quick uptake for everybody who's ready to watch and see what's happening in the world of Duck Hook. Let us quickly... Hopefully Billy doesn't nauseous. Let us quickly go around the table and say hello. Fricky, how's it going? Hello, man. How's it going? Uh, all going on this fight. Uh, been a tough week. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to this. Hopefully, the can show you guys how things will be done. So, yeah, looking forward. Quick question How are you feeling? Uh, fine at this stage. Fine? But uh, I'm fine, eh? I'm fine. Okay. Well, at least you're not slurring yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Hanu, how's it? Thanks for joining uh -huh. us. On such Thanks, Thanks for having me. Just standing in for Randall tonight. Good. As long as you know so, what's uh, happening in your teams. Yeah, no, I am. And um, yeah, Randall must just drive safe. I know he's on his way from Durban to Joburg for the shootout. Mm. So uh, looking forward to having him back up here. Then we've got Ronnie over here. Ronnie, how's yeah. life? Good, good. I'm um, excited for the shootout. Um, our team is, is prep. Uh, and um, yeah, yeah we, we're, we're looking forward, forward to it. it. Uh, I mean, um, uh, IF Africa is always pleasure to, to play, play and with all the added, added excitement, excitement and, and, and um, competitiveness, competitiveness yeah, definitely forward. looking forward awesome well it's a uh, good thing we're going to go through Ibotsi first so we don't have to worry about the screen next to me that's disappeared hopefully he um he wanted to move locations and said i'll be there in five minutes i'm like but we're on air now off you went mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Mas, can i ask a question, question? Yeah. sorry, sorry man, man can you see the sweat on uh, ronnie's face uh, a little bit yeah, he, he, he had, had to change, change a few, few, few players there, so I'm just uh, saying that, uh, you know, I'm seeing, seeing all the sweat, sweat there. there. Mm. I've, I've been there two years back, so uh, good luck, Ronnie. Ronnie. Hope everything works out fine, eh? No, 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 I didn't change players. I just balanced out my team. Um, we just fine-tuned it. So, uh -huh. like, uh, we're, ready, we're ready for, ready for you guys. guys. Ready. <laughs> well, uh, we will catch up with the, the new includees, which you've chosen from the super subs. Uh, yeah. It'll be interesting to see who there is. I'm going to put some of the names at the bottom to say hello to everybody. We've got, uh, thank you, Keegan, for joining us. Uh, hello, Ducks, he says. Jacques uh, uh, Gravenstein also says, hello, Ducks. Welcome. Thanks for watching. Uh, Vera Lebowski. Lebotsky or Lebov? Lebotsky. Let's call him Lebowski. He can be famous for that. Uh, Alan Lowe. Hello, Ducks. Doran, howdy. Carl van der Linde. Hey, gents. Uh, Quibus, hello boys and girls. How's your uh, walkie talkies, Quibus? Mm. The guys will know what I'm talking about. Uh, Cornell Erasmus, hello ducks. Uh, uh, Carl, thanks for joining us. It was his first uh, event at Ibotsi and it said it killed him. Well, it killed many, many people. Hello, Wayne. And so on and so on and so on and so on. It just doesn't end. Yeah. But thank you very much for joining us. Um, Peter Zach says, hello, looking forward to the shootout pairings. You'll be surprised at some of the pairings. It's going to be a great, great, great day. Okay, here we go. We are going to now recap 
Ibotsi because what a great day, a challenging day, and uh, good conditions, um, and yeah. um, unfortunately a little slow play, which we'll get to, because we've got to remind guys that um, three, three events in, and there was a bit of complaints about one side that it was very slow. So let's talk about that, gentlemen. Um, you got to be aware if you are the one causing the slow play. How do you do that? If you can't see the four ball in front of you, you got a problem. Correct? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah look, from my side, uh, look, I think it was on both sides. Uh, unfortunately, there was a few players that were playing slow. Uh, I think um, in our condition, there was maybe one or two players that was a bit slow. Uh, my suggestion to the players is, guys, so remember, just uh, keep uh, up with uh, the four ball in front of you. Uh, if it's any way that you guys can slow a little bit, maybe it's extremely late. So, uh, just, just keep your feel going. Yeah. Keep everyone happy. what the jet's noises are. That's how yeah. he stays too close to uh, jets and helicopters. Yeah, yeah sorry, man. Yeah. Um, I don't know what But I also want to add, yes, Ibotsi is a difficult course. So if you're not, if you're hitting it left and right and you're going to the bushes, you're looking for balls a lot, but you also got to realize if you're in the third or fourth or second four ball, You've, you're literally affecting 40 people, yeah. right? If you're not aware of them. So it is a group um, thing. If you are slow and you are reported and um, it's a problem, you will tee off last. So the next game, you'll be moved to the back. So you've got to learn how to play fast. Um, I'm putting it down to your bots is very difficult. There were a lot of high handicappers and they were hitting it everywhere and taking too long to get going. Um, but yes, just remember you, f you affect uh, a lot of people if you don't get it right. Let's have a look at the results. Uh, the top 10, Peter van Veik shooting minus 6 with uh, an audit after the game. Um, because score uh, gamebook had a bit of handicap fluctuations as we were playing. So Peter van Veik goes back to minus 6, 42 points. Congratulations, that's his second Duck Hook victory on the Duck Hook Tour. He's won at State Mines. Uh, last year, Corneli Rasmus, a good round, shooting minus 339 points. And Donny Geldenes, nice to see a two handicap going in the par, shooting 72. Donna Paramol, minus one. Four people in the red numbers. Then there's three guys tied for fifth. I'm on plus one myself. So I'll stand Leon Duplessis. Two on uh, plus two, 34 points. And then uh, Alan Lowe is also tied 10th on plus three. So congratulations to these top 10 and well played. As you can see, it was a bit of a challenge for many with this with only really one person running away with it. Uh, congratulations. As normal, we like to put a video to put it all in perspective. And this is what happened out in the course and the, what the top five players had to say. Good start to uh, series two, top ten finish on plus one. Happy? Yeah. I must be honest, it is a uh, personal best for me at uh, Ibotsi. Hitting an 89 on Ibotsi is like totally great for me. So, yeah, I'm just happy that I made it uh, for our blue team as captaincy. And uh, yeah, that's it. Baron, top 10 finish. How was your round? It was absolutely great. Yes, I really enjoyed it. Great company. Uh, golf course was really decent. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, I had one or two putts that didn't fall. But uh, overall, I was very lucky. I really enjoyed it. I've been playing now with a few different Oaks. Um, all of them are great company. Um, very friendly, well-organized events. Um, yeah, I definitely can't wait for the next one. It's like I shot level four, you know, gross, minus two for the day. So. I enjoyed it. it, was really, really great fun. Best part of your game? Sure. Uh, well, it's like uh, my putting was definitely better today, so that's a, that's a positive. So I won't say it was the best part, but it's a, it's a good positive to have. So today's winner of the first golf raid who gets this entire case is Putty Furee. <laughs> very well today so I have to say I've got one of these Schwixen ZX driving onto my back 
best thing helped me out today. Huh? I beat 10 out of 14 fairways. I think that just made my round slightly a little bit better. My goal for Series 2 is definitely to, to get up there again top 10 and give myself an opportunity to, to win a, a league. Um, but yeah, I mean it's going to be a long season so this year I really want to play some good golf. So hopefully I can give myself an opportunity. A round of applause to Peter Van Vleek. Well done Peter. Peter, great way to start the Sunday Series 2 at Ibotsi with a victory on 5 under. Congratulations. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling good. Mm -hmm. uh, I start good. And, and we, I start on the thing and to make a birdie day. So, yeah, make a good start and just go down and then up. So, yeah, that was good. What was good about your game? Um, the driver and the irons. Yeah, and, and the short game, but uh, putting I was struggling in the first nine, but uh, yeah, it was good. Happy to be a, a, a second victory on the Ducking Tour? Yeah, yeah, it's second victory, uh, it's, it's lekker, yeah. Yay, Billy's back, well done, that's the quickest you've ever moved. Oh, <laughs> okay. I felt that. Uh, for a second, I thought we lost you forever. But you're back. And, uh, right, so there it is. Uh, Flicky, you had a question for Ronnie there. Yeah, yeah uh, I, just I just wanted to ask, uh, uh, ask uh, how's the on uh, Ronnie's team? Because uh, I think uh, there's two, uh, two players that's in the top four, if I'm not mistaken. Very big finest pick is there, Dana and uh, Peter. I think it's two of my super subs, um, Peter and Dana. Um, I see both of them in the top four. Um, well, you have to decide. Um, what do you go with? Uh, form or, or handicap being cut? Well, I can say strictly my guys is on form. Watch out. Listen, we just do handicap management. That's a, that's a rule. Eh? So just, just work around that. Eh? <laughs> Let the fruit peak. Uh, Peter van Veek, here's his scorecard. Billy, you played with him on the day. Tell us, t take us through his round. If you look at the first nine, Two points, three points, one point. Then it's three points, three points, three points, three points, three points, two points. That is a pretty good golf from a 23 handicap. Good day? Yeah, it was a proper day for him. But we played the uh, second uh, nine first. So he started off on 10 birdie. And uh, then he part. So uh, myself and uh, Lucky was playing against Peter and uh, Lyle. And uh, they went up for four up and four holes. So... Uh, but yeah, it was lucky seeing uh, Peter playing proper golf. Mm -hmm. uh, he uh, played with a couple of oaks of lower handicaps and he showed us the way the fairway was. So, yeah. Awesome. Good to see. Plus, just want to say something. I've never seen uh, Lyle Shank from the tee box. So that was the first. <laughs> Sorry, Lyle. I think it happens to the best of us. All right, let's go through everything. Uh, we've got the pins from here, Potsy. Uh, Jakub Jakobs, par four first, was the Golf Concepts voucher. He's taken that prize. Um, par three eighth was a switch and sponsored hole. Ashley Herman taking the closest to the pin there. And then our new sponsor, uh, Golf Golf Raid Hydro Sport Drinks. Heinrich Fury was the first recipient <coughs> of that prize, winning himself a case on the par three. Difficult 11th. So uh, well done. That must have been a good shot putting it in there. Surrounded by water, always nervy when you play that hole. Let's move out to the yeah, yeah. groups. Fricky, take us through the groups. Okay, like a uh, as soon as I can see them. As I, okay, so group A, a plus one, a bar, could see a uh, sorry, uh, one <laughs> against uh, Simon Mayer, Peter Prince, and Aldo Fury. Uh, second one was group B, plus two, it was Martin Taute. Um, he won against Barry Fenter, Jamie Sherry, and Vickers Lee. Group C, a plus four against Kian Corbett, Luke Janssen, Lyle Langley. That was the winner, Prune Pande. So, yeah, well done, well done, guys. Let me give a shout out to Martin Tata. Great start to the season. He's really came second at the Wanderers, had a good day at uh, services. And now, again, plus two is not bad golf at all. It's all about the averages at the end of the day. Who's got the, who, who can shoot the most uh, points on average? Like, if you're shooting 34 points at an average, you're probably pretty much going to win a series. Um, yeah, I yeah think that's correct. pretty much the stats. Let's look at the winning four ball. Billy did mention that he was in that four ball um, with Luki, Lal, and Peter shooting minus 22, 94 points. 
Generally, if uh, the winner is going to win, he's going to be in the winning four ball. So congratulations to that four ball. Right. So you might have seen a comment earlier by Morneo Kelly. Let me just find that one. And that's referring to the team head, uh, head to heads. And it said teams was rigged. Don't need to see the results. Well, it wasn't rigged. I promise. I'm sticking to my word. But you're right. You absolutely got hammered. And uh, you had no chance of winning this one because the blue team, gents, have taken it back by a point. This is what it looked like. Um, here we go. Mona Kelly plus 12 against your friend, uh, Leon Duplessis, plus 1. So you didn't help your cause in um, leading your team. But 7 to 3, the blue team comes out on top. So well done. Uh, who's here? Myself. Uh, well done, Fricky. We... Uh, yeah, to pull it through. It uh, Fricky won your game quite easily against Karuna. Um, I've taken yeah, Sean okay. Lawless. Uh, let's just have a run through. Uh, Billy, well done. At least you got a point for your red team against uh, Jacques Clutter. And any other big numbers? Yeah, Kyle struggled a bit against Ashley. But generally, uh, good performance by the blue team. So, well done, Leon C as your Virgil captain. 1.5 points each after three yeah. rounds lacquer lacquer just, just glad, glad i won against the karuna so uh yeah looking, looking forward to that one and uh, luckily i i whipped his butt luckily luckily okay now <laughs> let's have a look at what the uh the player rankings look like after three rounds we have peter van veik moving oh this does not make sense does it let me do this one instead let's see if this one's correct that looks better. Peter van Veek, 550 points, average 550. That's because he's only played one game. So when he plays again, that will come down. Wayne Jensen in second place after two rounds uh, with uh, 443 points. Uh, Steve Saunders, 592 points. So he's got the most points, but he's played three rounds. So his average goes to 197. Carl van der Mullen with a one round in so far at the Wanderers. Uh, Jakub Jakobs, three rounds in. Uh, also in the 572. Then we got Cornell with a second place finish, jumping up the leaderboard. Shannon Schaefer, only one round. So that doesn't, not quite true reflection. Martin Tata, you see he's got 461 points at an average of 153. Pete Skidder, one round at uh, Wanderers. And then um, Richard, I think he's got two rounds down, one at Services and one at the Wanderers. So this is what it looks like currently. There's going to be a lot, a lot of changes. So boys, that is Ibotzi. Um, done and dusted. There was a comment that I wanted to put here. Donny is not on the show today um, because we're a bit full up. She's got the day off. But as he says, if you're four ball, if you you're if you behind the other four ball, show disrespect, disrespect to the whole Ducker community. That is true because you've got to remember, like I said earlier, how many people it affect. So please, even if you know you're slow, rather just say, can we go last? Because um, you don't want to be one of the hated people, if you know what I mean. And um, the way not Mass, just... Yes. No, go Ronnie. Ronnie? Yeah. Go for it, Ronnie. Uh, uh, no, I said the problem is this kind of uh, size field in the winter. Mm. The last guy's going to finish with the dark, I mean... Yeah, exactly. The lock, and we can't... That's the main thing we're trying to avoid is uh, finishing in the dark. And as the fields get... Um, uh, later and later, that is going to be a problem. Uh, within the next two months, we will be at that uh, position. Uh, Martin Tallis said maybe a bit stricter with the three-minute search rule. Um, yes, but you also got to know. Just, just, to add, just to add to that point, I think it's just the sequence of events leading up to why you're falling in the other time. Mm. Instead of everybody just going and looking for the, the person who lost his ball, first, first hit your shot, shot and then, then go out, apply the three-minute rule, and then move on. That's as simple as that. It doesn't help everybody go looking for a golf yeah. ball. You can't find it after five minutes. And then you still need to walk back to play, play your own shot, shot first. And, and that leads up to you falling behind the full ball behind you. Um, in a place like Ibotzi. Just, just play like it ready golf. If you're ready, hit it. In a place like Ibotzi, if you hit it in the bushes, you do not need three minutes to decide that thing is gone. You know within 30 seconds that thing is gone. Drop and go. Correct? Unless you're Leon Wistas and you find it. Yeah. But I'm right. <laughs> Why the no? <laughs> okay, are we ready to do the shootout, boys? Because this is going to be interesting. Ready? Okay. Yeah, yeah let's, let's do it. Let's, let's do, do it. it.
Oh, if that doesn't get you ready for the shootout, I don't know what will. That's the only time we play the Afri Africa, and it's an absolute treat for the for the boys who have made the shootout teams in the past. And for those who have not played in the shootout, uh, you're going to absolutely love it. 36 holes around Eye of Africa is a treat. I think everybody here has played in the shootouts. Uh, let's start. Fricky, yep. first of all, remind us of your team. Yeah, Mass, uh, my team, I think it's going to be the winning team. Uh, I've, I've had some chats with the guys. Uh, it's me, Richard, <laughs> Bobby, <laughs> Simon, Carl, Peter, <laughs> Prince Bear, Jamie Sherry, Mass and it plays the Reds, and uh, yeah, yeah. Kuni Pretorius. So yeah, yeah looking forward to the game. So out of all of these, you've chosen your vice captains? I have. Uh, it's Richard Stewart and Simon Mayer. Richard Stewart and Simon Mayer will be the vice captains of the Thursday team. Right. So congratulations to those gentlemen. Right. We're going to move to Hanu. Hanu, um, here's your team. Have there been any changes? Uh, I don't think there's been any changes to our team. Quite a solid team with a combination of low handicappers, some experienced mid handicappers, and uh, good old team atmosphere will be running amongst us. So to go through them, Donny, uh, Randall Chetty is the captain. He unfortunately couldn't be with us today. Uh, Graham de Villiers, Jakub Jacobs, Barry Fenter, Kuba Skuman, uh, Louis Gerber, Paul Ricketts, and Leon Oersteisen. And your captains, uh, vice captains that Ronnie, uh, not Ronnie, Randall chose is? Well, Randall is captain, and me and Donny as the two supporting vice captains to him for the day. Well done. Okay. Uh, Ronnie, it's your turn. Now we know that you have a bit, have had a bit of movement in your team. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, uh, uh, I lost uh, Basil and I lost um, Ryan. And then I'll do put family and, 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 and career in front of uh, Africa. But um, uh, yeah. Uh, I replaced them with um, with Peter. I mean, we saw his form with Dana. We, we saw what he is doing, and with JP, um, I, 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 it, it actually worked out quite well for us because we have a very good balance between low and high handicappers. And um, yeah, we, we saw in the past that low high handicappers is absolutely lethal. That is true. So you're glad that the guys left. Yeah, it sounds to me like we already know who's the TFCs for the day. <laughs> yeah, I think they uh, always miss guys like um, like Basil and Ryan. I mean, the the, the, the the whole impact that they bring with that, I mean, they're the, the next level golf player, so we will definitely miss them. But um, like I said, I think everything worked out perfectly for us. And your vice captains, Nicky like Valenfoot and Jacques Gravenstein. Congratulations yes, on yes. your picks. Yes, yes. Um, I mean, um, Nikki, just because he's giving Billy a, a, a lot of grief and Jock, I mean, I think Jock is a brilliant golfing mind. So, yeah, those are my vice captains. Let's move on to the Barbarians captain, uh, Billy. Take us through your team. I think you've had one change. Yeah. I uh, uh, so, I had a constant hole in the bring of the Marble Hall. And uh, I think we've got a proper team going. I think we've got uh, the most fun out in the team. So, yeah, we're going to be a little bit more than we can do. The team maker. The team maker. The team maker. Trevor Miller, Peter Zakaria, Kevin O, Gerard Gerber, Grant Nell, Ryan Jensen, uh, Leon von Aude, and Hans Jermann. And your vice captain picks were? Yeah, Ryan Jensen, Mr. Stats. I think it's the first time we have a And then Hansi is a very good man who has a lot of help on us. So he has to be the vice captain. He has to be the vice captain. Sorry, Mas, if I can just quickly translate for all the English guys. Uh, but he basically said that his team is not great. And he has replaced him with a few bad guys and he swatted all the flies. Okay. Yeah, and he just mentioned to get the atmosphere going. He's bringing his lunchbox from Heidelberg. So. That's a big shout out for all Afrikaans and so be group at Kijk and Altet Wonner. Come here, Altet so snacks in our spalatio. Okay. Bring the kid out of our city and shout. Let's go Afrikaans internet. Sorry, guys. Yeah, he does have Afrikaans internet. Okay, man, you can take it. If you switch off the. 
if you switch off the sound, maybe it will give you English subtitles and translate it for you. Um, right, what happened next, right, is I went to each captain and I said, I need to get your five pairings, right? There's 10 guys into five pairings. Uh, they each gave them to me. Nobody knows who else's pairings are who else's. So this is a full-on surprise when we actually see who plays who. So we're going to start with the pairings and find out why the pairings. So we'll start with Fricky. Fricky, these are your pairings. Yeah, Mass, uh, it's me and Simon playing in Team 1. Uh, Peter Prince, uh, Booby van der Spey, yeah, I like that name. Booby. And then <laughs> Mass and Jamie. Uh, and Karl and Kunrat in Team 4, Richard and Andre. Uh, the reason for the pairings is just to get the, the high low handicappers uh, up and running. I think we've got about 227 handicappers and I think 119 handicapper in there. Uh, you know, as a total, and then, yeah, I think we've got the, the, the winning combination. Me and uh, Simon, we haven't had any good luck on the um, on the shootout yet, so uh, we're just going to have some fun there. So whether it's win or lose, um, we're just going to have some fun. The rest should, should bring the points. Hanu, take us through your pairings. I'm sure you were involved in picking some of these. Yeah, so uh, just waiting for the... So we're starting off with Barry Fenter and Louis we're setting up our prospectors first, so they, they will take care of Fricky and Simon for us. And then we've got Leon and Yaku going out second. Then third will be Donnie and Graham, and Randall and myself will be team four. And our final team will be our experienced guys, uh, Paul and uh, Quivers. There we go. So we'll see who that um, matches up. At least there's no spelling mistakes on this graphic, Booby. So, uh, so, sorry, Mass, can I just quickly mention something? I just want to mention for the, the, the guys that's looking. Um, Kubis and Richard is the only two players that haven't lost any games in the shootouts at this, uh, at this stage. And it looks like they're paired together. So at least one will lose, hopefully. Okay. No, we can already guarantee who that is because uh, Fricky already has to get his team you know, into that kind of mindset. We're playing on a Sunday. This is not Thursdays. So he's got that battle to fight already first. Uh, lucky, man. Just go get the helicopters, eh? <laughs> Ronnie, take us through your team. Yes, um, Carl and Clint, I've got high hopes for them, both steady players. Gerard and Jacques, low high handicap. Um, me and Nikki, um, also low high handicap. Peter and Donna, two guys in brilliant form. And then um, JP and um, uh, uh, Kero. Um, yeah, like I said, also a low high handicap. Uh, we've saw with teams through and through, low high handicappers are always difficult to beat. Uh, whenever the high handicapper makes a par, we get the points, and the low handicapper just make sure we don't give away any any holes. So yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm looking forward to retaining the the shootout cup. Finally, Billy, it's your turn. These are your pairings. Okay. Well, I went for Hansi in. Pever, also uh, mid handicapper, high handicapper, and then uh, Leon and uh, Ryan. I think I'll complimenteer my car good. I go up a stadium, Trevor and Leon said, but on the road was with 200 scarriers, right? And this is my scarrier in the mark. And then uh, Kevin is solid, so it's always in Peter. Yeah, so Grant and Gerard is. Uh, like a pellet from a car, and then I can be a bruise. I can be a tumor, and I can help the first to get a little bit of a spiel. This year, this is the best manier om te krijgen ze is daar een gat in te spiel. En het is niet zoals de zaal spiel, dus dat maar mensen van wat ons gaan vat. So thank you for those. So now it's going to be interesting to see how they pair up and who pairs up with who. So if you're visually inclined, and you probably worked out who's pairing up with who, um, yeah, but yeah. we're going to show you. So AM boys, ten point, uh, five points up for grabs for each team in the a AM. Uh, Thursday series taking on Sunday one, Sunday two taking on Bob Barons. Are we ready, Fricky? Here yeah. we go. Thursday versus Sunday one. Right, team one. Off at 6.30. It's Fricky and Simon versus Barry and Louis. All right, you want to take us through the rest, Fricky? Uh, all I can say is uh, good luck, guys. Uh, I will get into your heads. That I can promise you. Mm. And we've got Peter Prinsler and Bobby taking on Leon Oesthuizen and Jakub Jacobs. Then myself and Jamie Sherry is taking on uh, Donnie and uh, Graham de Villiers. Carl is, and Kunrad are taking on Randall and Hanu. 
and uh, yeah, Richard and Reds are taking on Paul and Quiver. So that will be your morning matchup. If you guys want to know about the tee of times, you'll see that they staggered by 10 minutes. Um, we start up at six, but because the PM field has to switch around, we can't just have all of these teams go in a row. So we stagger them. So the, the, the next group will be 640, uh, seven o'clock, etc. So that when we swap, we swap and it's right behind you. Right, so this is the PM, Sunday 2 versus, uh, sorry, AM, Sunday 2 versus uh, Barbarians. You ready? Yep. Oh. It is. So it's Carl and Clint are taking on Hansi and Trevor. Gerard and uh, Jacques is taking on Ryan and Leon. Ronnie and Nikki are taking on Peter and Kevin at 7.20. Uh, Peter and Donna are taking on... Um, that's going to be an interesting four ball, considering both of them say pretty much nothing. Um, <laughs> I'm just thinking that's going to be one quiet card. They might want to bring some music. Uh, team four, uh, the Gerard and, and Grant, and then Kara and JP, good mates, and then the Bruce are taking each other on. How much talking do you think is going to be in that four ball, boys? I think the talking is only going to be between Grant and Gerard. <laughs> pretty much. Uh, I think Ronnie, Grant's going to probably do enough chatting for... For Donna and Peter together, so yeah. we'll be, they'll be sorted in that for I'm going to put uh, this back up. Just keep a few beers and then he, he'll be fine, man. So, yeah. yeah, definitely. I'm going to put this back up and Billy, take us through your thoughts, your Ronnie. Take us through yeah. your thoughts. Are you worried about our fall? Why is that? Yeah, because yeah, Kerr doesn't mark his balls on the greens. I say, just, just keep an eye on him, man. I'm going to make a prediction that that football is going to be hammered by 11. Yeah, that's Kerr, <laughs> Billy, and Henry. Um, JP, I know JP doesn't drink on a golf course, but the other three are it's... You know, and I'll do, and uh, everybody was just worried that Kero's not going to make the 36 holes. So, yeah, um, uh, Billy and, 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 and Andy doesn't make that problem um, any less. So, yeah, let's see. <laughs> He's not going to make nine holes, man. <laughs> well, the thing is, JP, there's going to be a lot of Afrikaans um, uh, during those, those rounds. So, good luck. Mm. Um, Hanu, I think your microphone is a bit dodgy. It keeps breaking up, just so you know. Um, I've got a question here from Leon Duplessis. How do you make this team? Sounds like fun. Well, it's simple. It's the top 10 of each series go in automatically. And the captain is the series winner. And then there's a barbarian's team of the guys who just missed out. So, in other words, you need to finish in the top 10 come the end of this season to play in the 2023 shootout. Right. Let's move on, gentlemen. Uh, we're moving on to the PM times. Uh, so we play AM, everybody gets done, and then um, we switch. And these are the games in the, in the PM. So Sunday Series 1 take on Sunday Series 2, and Thursday take on Barbarians team. Okay, uh, so here is a look at Sunday versus Sunday. There we go. So it's Barry and Louis versus Carl and Clint. Leon and Jakub versus Gerard and, and Jacques. Johnny and Graham versus Ronnie and Nikki, Randall and Hanu versus Peter and Donna, uh, Paul and Quivis is taking on Kira and JP. So that should be very, very interesting. Happy with this, um, Randall and Hanu? Yeah, we're very happy. I think we've got a, a good uh, mixture of experience going in Yeah, I think the teams are, are, they can feed off each other. It's guys that can really feed off each other while they play. And um, I'm really looking forward to it. I've got high expectations of the guys, and I think they're going to pull it through this year. Ronnie? Yes. Um, I th to be honest, if you look over the board, all of them are good players. All of them, I mean, have had brilliant rounds during the course of the year. So I think it, it's also going to depend on the day. Who's got four on the day? Who clicks on the day? And like I say, um, who's got enough high handicappers to, to, to make pass? There we go. And who fires? It's all about, you've got 36 holes. Surely it should be improving and not getting worse. Um, right, the second game is Thursday versus Barbarians. All right, um, Fricky, you go through this because it's a, a bit of a challenge yeah. saying all these names. Yeah, I must say. Okay, it's me and uh, Simon against Hansi and Trevor, uh, Peter and uh, Booby against Ryan and uh, Leon. Uh, we've got Maz and Jamie against uh, Peter and uh, Kevin. Carl and Kuhn against uh, Grant and uh, um, uh, Gerard. 
We've got Richard and uh, Reds, Reds against, against Billy and Henry. I must say, if I have to look at this, I think that uh, Henry and Billy will have a great, uh, great time there, We're losing against uh, Richard and them. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I think uh, Peter and, and Booby will have a tough time against Leon and Ryan. Uh, but yeah, furthermore, I think uh, we, should, we should be able to top this. Luister, Frikkie, daar had ek een vraag op of Pieter Pieter Prinsloof van die ladies mag afslaan, omdat hy die lengte van die junior is. It's it's right, we will just say that's the the handicap, so it's it's fine, eh? (laughs) Don't be nasty. (laughs) When you want to be Pieter, or did you back, okay? Right, finally, it's the virtual singles, right? And these, the guys actually called each other and decided, they picked, I don't know who went first, but they said, uh, uh, first out will be so-and-so, second will be so-and-so. So how it works is the virtual singles, it's over 36 holes, you've got a chance to improve. So if player A shoots 32 points and player B shoots 36, then the next round, if player A shoots 37 and player B shoots 28, when we add them all up, whoever uh, I think player A wins there, then he gets the point for his team. So there's 10 points up for grabs for each team. So let's have a look at the singles. So it's Thursday versus Sunday uh, two, if I'm not mistaken. Right, so we go left and left. So it's Flicky versus Ronnie, right? So you guys did your pick. So take, go through it. Yeah, man, it's okay. I'll, I'll start with the, the left side. Ronnie, you can do the right side. Uh, me and Ronnie against each other, Simon and JP Atwood. Uh, Simon basically called to, to get uh, JP, so that worked in his favor. Uh, Maz against Gerard. Uh, Gerard not having great form, although he's got his new shots, but I think Maz can top him there. Uh, lucky Bobby there against Dana. Uh, I think that would be a tough game for Bobby, but uh, yeah, he's got a mental game, so I think he will make it. And then Jamie against Nicky. High capers. Uh, Jamie is definitely the stronger person in my view. Uh, Nicky, he's got lots of buffaloes, uh, you know, at his back. So, um, yeah, I think Jamie will definitely top in that. Okay. Then, um, yeah, when uh, me and Fricky discussed it, we wanted to pay people close, uh, handicaps close to each other, so it's almost like, like a straight shootout. But, yeah, that's why we went with Jock and Andre, both low handicappers. The two Carls, Carl and Carl, I think they're also mid handicappers, so that would be interesting. Um, yeah, uh, with Peter and Peter, it's not the same handicap, at least same length, so and same name. So yeah, yeah, that's what's up to everything. And then, um, yeah, Kero and Kundrod, I think um, Kero's best chance there's going to be if he can play with Kundrod. I don't think Kundrod will, will keep up with Kero for 36 holes. And then, um, yeah, I'm actually looking forward to. Frick is playing there again, eh? Against Clement. Um, uh, I think both of them are the best. Like I said, Clint is as steady as can, can, can be. So uh, if you, this is 10 points there. So these seeking goals count as much as both team matches. So, yeah, those are very important to us. And I'm lucky I predict 7 out of 10 for us. Oh, wow. What is the falsy there? Oh, that's a falsy. Must definitely. Can somebody make a note of that falsy? Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, I'll get all of more now. Right, then the final virtual game is going to be Sunday 1 versus the Barbarians. So it's Hanu versus um, Billy. Um, you can do the same thing, gents. Uh, Hanu, you take the left. Billy, you take the right. Yeah. Yeah, this is going. I think this is where the day is going to be won and lost for us. Um, we're sending out Quivers out first against Trevor. So I think that's going to be quite an interesting game. I'm taking on Gerard. Um have to be... Kind of cautious of that one because Carrot is quite a consistent golfer lately and I haven't reached form, so that's going to be an interesting game. Then Leon versus Billy, uh, Graham versus Leon, uh, sorry, Mez, I can't see the bottom one. No, it's Donny versus Ryan. I think that's going to be an interesting game for us as well. Paul versus Grant, Jakob Jacobs versus Hansi Hamann, and then Kevin Ho versus Barry Friend. I think you just need to change those around because I think Barry's on our side. Yeah, but I'm just Sorry. helping out the English speaking people. You can Afrikaans gaan as you can read it. You can read it as you can read it as you can read it. Okay, no, go on. You go on. Ah, thank you. And then Randall versus Henry. And then Louis versus Peter Zaccario. I think that's also going to be a, a tough game for us. A lot of low handicappers on our side, but uh, I, I really believe the guys will pull it through. Um. Billy, you want to add to that? Yeah, but 
Ist am Strand, mess. Das könnte ein tough one für den. Ich denke mal, das war ein delicious English kind of name. Ah, Nature. Nature. Okay, predictions for points wise, boys. Billy, you think you're going to win? Honey, you think you're going to win? I think uh, it's the first year for the Barbarians for a proper win. Mm-hmm. And then uh, next, next year is going to be bad because you're going to have a couple of actions the Sunday one, Sunday two, and Thursday league that says, please don't pick before those teams. I want to play in the Barbarian team. So uh, probably, if I must say, we're going to take it nine out of the ten. So, nine out of ten. Sure. Well, that uh, the one we will just give to be nice. Um, I think um, Buddy got too quick into his lunchbox because I, I know we're probably going to take this about 7 10 if I look at it. 7 10? Yeah, no, we're going to take it at 7. We're going to take 7 out of the 10 points for that one. Okay. Let's have a look at some of the comments as the guys are watching. This shootout is going to be epic. I think it's your first shootout. Yes, it is going to be epic. That's an, and it's almost almost time. Uh, can't wait for the shootout. What a lovely course I have. Africa is 100%. Can't disagree with you there. Gerard Sneeman says, Sunday 2 for the win. Um, <laughs> As you're playing against him, so no. just tell him to go play Sorry, with his shots. I can't quite agree with him then. Uh, mm. Wayne Jensen says, Barbarian's going to be a tough team. So there's one for you, Billy. Barbarian's going to be a tough team. And then um, Kero says, I'm going to be sober the whole day. I've promised my captain. <laughs> <laughs> he did, that's, that's, it. It. <laughs> that's like me promising my wife I'll be home before eight. But but he said sober until we win, and then it's before. Uh, I mean, you, you can't you, you can't take that away from the players' players. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> Donny says Frick and Sai are going to struggle against Hansi and Trevor. Uh, someone's got a gun. I just remember that. Eh? Mm. Cease. Um, okay, so that is the shootout, gentlemen. Max, the 13th yeah, of no, just February. Add Max, yeah, I'm listening. Let's say it's just there. Mm. All the Oaks is not playing on the Sunday, there, and want something fun to come and do. They must come, come to North Africa, Africa and come and have a look, look at the, the shootout. Yeah, where they can maybe spot a couple of balls. Uh, yes, uh, spectators are welcome if you're really that bored yeah. and you want to go all the way to Ive Africa. Uh, you're welcome to be there. So, gents, yeah. so what happens next is we uh, wait after Mordefontein, then the 13th is the shootout, and we're ready to go. Um, next uh, week on the show, we will touch on a few little talking points on it. But, um, yes, I really, really look forward to it. Hop a six start, gentlemen. So we need to be there at six. I've been um, in contact with uh, the golf director, and I have pointed out the previous issues, which was um, not having a party at six in the morning because we can't get into the gate. Um, yeah. I don't think the residents will like that again because we really made a, a lacquer party at six in the morning. And then uh, that the carts be ready um, because, you know, we want to get the things going. We don't really exactly. have to wait for carts. Um, the driving range opens up at six, which is a, a bit of a problem. So the guys teeing off at eight, yay, yay. You've got plenty of time for everything, but the guys teeing off at upper six might um, be a bit rushed. But that's the way so it is. Of course, only opens at upper six. So, so just to confirm, what time does the gates open? Six o'clock. It's supposed to open a, uh, when we get there at, at, at six. The problem we had last time is they didn't send us a code and they, they can't physically let us through without the code. So okay. that's what I said to him. I said, dude, I need the code so that we don't have an issue. And he said, you will have it the day before. Hmm. Right. Well, see. We, ha- we hold thumbs. Okay. That's the shootout. Let's move on. We've got Marta Fontaine, the, star, uh, the second of Series 1's uh, Sunday Series games. And let me tell you, boys, it's been very, very popular. Um, we are 92 people currently. And let me say, with a week to go, it was full. I had to get another four ball. I put that on the, the app, and within a day, that was gone. Then I got another four ball, and then another day, and it was gone. And I've got a couple of people on standby. So, uh, yes, very, very popular, Modafontaine. So we'll see if we can get everybody in. Um, but, yes, here it is, Modafontaine. <laughs> Let's
Let's go straight into the scorecard, boys. I think most of us have played there. Officially opened in February 1939. One of only four top 100 courses with a par 5 on the 1st and 10th tee. Ranked 19 in Gauteng and situated in Edenvale. There's a scorecard, boys. Uh, who wants to give us a bit of a breakdown? I will give some insights. And all I can say is that I was there on Tuesday. Some boys actually, uh, I saw Gerard and Grant as I was leaving to they went to play a game i was just there to do some footage and speak to the gm which i'll talk about now but the course is looking superb not a blade of grass out of place really really looking nice and it is generally a difficult golf course especially with the greens can really really run run quickly yeah yeah, yeah look nice if i can quickly run through uh i'll do the first nine and uh, i know maybe you can do the the second one but uh, okay, sorry, I, I haven't played there yet so this will be my first time this sunday really playing there at uh, mother fontaine Okay, okay, then I'll quickly shoot through all of them. Uh, yeah, man, so the first tee shot uh, on the on the first, I think that's the one that goes dog leg to the right uh, with the Stuart there on the right. Um, uh, like tenth. a tee shot, it's if you can keep hole. it straight. You're on the wrong side, Fricky. Oh, is it the 10th? The, the okay, so we'll start no, no. on the 10th. No, no, you're on the right side. My bad. I'm confused. Ah, come on, man. Sorry, man. Anyway, so yeah, okay, so with that tee shot, uh, like, a, like a tee shot with a little bit of a fade, Second shot, I think you can make it uh, to the green. It's not that, that long. Uh, yeah, from there, uh, a few tough holes coming through and then ending with that par three. Uh, that's a tough one for me always. Uh, then on the 10th, uh, with the par five, starting with the stroke nine, uh, it's probably not that bad. A little bit of an uphill uh, with, the, with the green. And then ending with that par four, stroke seven. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a good um, challenge for the handicappers. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's a, a tough, tough course, course, but yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a lucky one. Nice. nice. We, we see how you operate. First hole, last hole. First hole, last hole. Absolutely. Mm. Um, that par three ninth is probably one of the hardest par threes you'll play because it really, it's probably 170 to clear water on the right, water in the front. You really need a good shot there. And I can tell you that will be one of the closest to the pins. Um, so I, like I mentioned, I caught up with the GM and asked him about Morofontaine. And this is a bit of an insight. There's a lot of history at Morofontaine. It's a very old club. We were established in about 1936, uh, where it was actually the sports and recreation section of a AICI, AECI, uh, the mine just above, uh, just above us here. So the golf course was taken over by a few different owners afterwards, and, and currently owned by a Taiwanese lady. So we we run ourselves at the golf course. Um, the course is in a very good nick. It is a park and course, and everybody that plays here comments about our greens, etc., mm -hmm. etc., et because it's just a nice and challenging course for decent golfers. They can expect a challenging course. It's, uh, we've had a few tournaments around, so the rough is a little bit long. It could be quite interesting if you land in it to even find your ball, and it might just uh, be a chip out onto the fairway to carry on with the hole. But then our feature hole is hole number 14, which is a path three. It's about 100, and depending on the setup of the day, it's about 160 meters. And um, it is a very beautiful hole to play. So the 13th, 14th, and 15th is most probably the turn that we make that is a, a very challenging turn on this golf course. And you need to par through those holes, otherwise you're gonna, you're gonna come back to the clubhouse with a very high score. Why can't we read the... the Thank you, Danny. Are you were saying, Billy, why can't we read that? No, no. Because <laughs> it's in English. It's in English. I've got some more comments, uh, some proper reviews uh, or previews uh, we got from Danny to keep it, um, as I say, keep it shorter than flicky, hit fairways and greens. Well, yeah, absolutely. Um, Jacques says, PS Modifatain might be getting a big tournament soon. Uh, I know what that tournament might be. So that is a big announcement. Uh, good luck to them. They hold a lot of big tournaments, really. Um, so nothing to sneeze at when it comes to Modifontein. Uh, Sorrel Stain, he says Modifontein is going to be epic. And then Grant Nell, as I mentioned, was there. He says the rough is rough. So uh, another course with rough rough, if you know what I mean. We've had a couple of them lately. Um, thank you, boys, for the updates. Uh, what would you reckon the greens are running at, uh, Grant? Give us a bit of an indication. Uh, it would be nice to know. Right, as I mentioned, let's quickly wrap this up. We've got the first tee, starting at 11.30 with Lyle Langley, Brian Owen, Sorrel Stain and Yoppy Duploy. 
all the way to just before one o'clock. So, boys, we've got to play quickly. That's all I'm saying. We can't mess around because we've got to get in. Uh, um, I can't even go through everybody here. But uh, there's your names. The player pack will be going out with handicaps uh, yeah. probably tomorrow. And we see a lot of the guys who started Series 1, like Ian um, Holtz. I chose the hardest name to read. Ian Holtzenhausen. Uh, joining us once again, um, is there anybody new that sh I should be reading out here? Ooh, Jakob von Staden, Yandre Henning, they've also come back. Uh, Stefan Heret, Jakub Swanepoel. So, uh, all back in for another round of Duck of Golfers. Let's go to the 10th tee. 10th tee starts with Gerrach Herber, Grant Nell, Shannon Schaefer and Oki Brits. And we run all the way through to... Um, 12.54. You might be asking me, why does the 10th tee start at 11.34 and the first tee start at 11.30? I'd asked the same question to the club and they pretty much went, it's just the way it is. Okay, so okay. It's just to confuse the situation. Well, then let's have it on different times. Hmm. Pins from Fontaine. The pins will be Golfer Aid will be doing the difficult par 3 ninth. They will have their... Um, Case of golf rate up for grabs for the best shot over there. The par 3 11th will be Strixen. Uh, that is, yes, it's also a tough little hole. Can't really see the surface of the green. The par 4 17th has been chosen as the closest in two. Um, so good luck to everybody on these featured holes. Right, let's go through the groups. Frick, I'll give you the groups again. Yeah, yeah, let me do that. that. Uh, so, so group, group A, we've, we've got, got uh, Gerard Gerber, Russell Taney, Kevin Oak, JP Edward. Uh, must say that I think Gerard Gerber will take that one. Group B, Karina Cooney, Greg Howarth, uh, Jason David, David Sinclair. Uh, honestly, I think Karina Cooney, if he's got a good day, he can take that one. Uh, group C, we've got Rota Mankies, uh, Louis Jordan, Booby Fon is by uh, Leonard de Bassani. I think Leonard has done pretty well uh, lately, so uh, I'm going to back Leonard. Although I think Bobby might actually take it. Well, at least Bobby's got a new nickname, and it was... Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right, teams. Let's see how this came out. Who are the captains? Louis Gerber is the captain, and Paul Ricketts is the captain of the red and blue team, respectively. Um, let's have a read through and see what we think. Uh, Louis Gerber's We've got Alan Lowe, Sarah Stein, Peter Prinsler, Adam Ford, Edwin Schultz, Yarpy Deploy, Richard Stewart, Jakub van Staal, and Trevor Miller. Um, how do you take us through the blue team? So the blue team, I see his captain will be Paul Ricketts, Glenn Bruders, uh, Sharon Schaefer, uh, Conrad Pretorius, Louis Jensen, is that Alistair O'Tin? That's right. Yes. Uh, Billy Hall, Robert Michael, my man, Jacques Gravenstein, and Kara O'Connell. So who do we think? Red of the blue for you, everybody. I'm going to put my money on blue. Another blue. Mm. How much money? No. <laughs> I'm just putting my money on blue. Yeah, but how much? Well, it seems like you're not the only one. We've got um, Jacques saying blue team for the win, as always. And then we've got uh, Paul Ricketts saying blue, blue for the blue team. And we've got... Um, let's just take that one out. And then we've got... Wayne saying blue has got this one. We got Werner. So what's he saying? We've got this one. Right. Um, there was one more comment. I asked for a, a green speed from Grant and he's given it to me. Same as at home. Around 10. Green was soft. Can attack the flags after all this rain we had. Right. So thank you very much. Gents, we've been on for a long time, but we had a lot to cover. Um, thank yep. you very much. Um, Looking forward to seeing everybody on uh, Sunday. And um, the theme for Sunday is play fast. Right? Absolutely. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, and we must give a shout out to Jakob Jacobs. It's his 100th golf course at Waterfontein. Hey. Let's get him in balloon. Hey, Jakey. Well done. Nice. Nice. So we'll catch up with him and uh, find out how that's going to go. And finally, Hanu, you, you reminded me, we've put together an action cricket team. Okay. We'll be playing at Centurion next to the stadium there. So if you want to join us for Action Cricket, please let me know and we'll add you to the group so we can have a nice pool of players. It will be good fun to get together during the week to uh, try another skill out that we might be good at. I know that I uh, am much better at cricket than at golf and at least can hold my own. I know I'm looking forward to see Hanu play because I hear he's quite a champion at the back and he is uh, rather scary. So... It'll be fine. No, but I think uh, I also think if the guys are in the vicinity, come pop in there by the arena. The alcohol is quite cheap, so Carol, I'll probably see you there tomorrow night. 
Um, but pop in there, have a few beers with us while the game's on, after the game. It's, it's quite a fun and an entertaining environment. There. Cool. Billy, thank you for coming on. Thank you for tracking around the farm to get some good signal. Ronnie, as always, it's always a pleasure having you on. Uh, I know Thank Fricky wants to leave because he's got two uh, Macy keys that are uh, waiting for him. <laughs> Absolutely. But he doesn't know what to do with. Yeah. So good one. Everybody, thanks for watching. Much appreciated. We'll see you on Sunday. Have a good nice evening. Cheers. 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 Cheers.